Hey guys, Gumi here, and I'm excited to be doing this live reaction to One Piece 861. Now, I was late for 860 because I was feeling pretty sick. I'm feeling a bit better now, though. I think it was just the time of year, and uh, sinuses, I still got some of that. But that was exciting last chapter. The tea party has finally started. So, let's get right into 861. I don't think fighting is going to start yet. We're going to get a bunch more setup, but let's see. So chapter 861, the consummate actor, we're on page one. And here we have, oh yeah, Nekomamushi relaxing on a kotatsu covered in little cats. That's a cute one. I wonder if this was inspired by Neko Atsume. Possibly. Noda Skywalker, haven't I heard of that person before? They, I could have sworn that they got one of their requests submitted before. But let's get right in. Let's go. All right, all right. So, atop the staircase of candy lies. That looks cool. You know that. You know what that reminds me. Of? That reminds me of Snake Way, from DBZ. That's what it looks like. The back of a dragon. Whole cake chateau roof. Ooh. Holy crap. Vito, what are you doing? Father, this is unbelievable. Just now, the president of the World Economics Times and the head of the Germo were talking, Rero. Of course they'll talk. They've got ears and mouths on their heads, haven't they? Well, all I know is that this party's on a completely different level. The eldest son and the minister of candy, Perispero, and the eldest daughter, the minister of fruits, Compote. The second son commander, Dogtooth. That guy is going to get a good fight. I love his design. The fourteenth daughter, Commander Smoothie. The third son, Daifuku. And the fourth son, Oven. I can barely keep track of the number of monsters here. I mean, it was nice having these guys on our side, reassuring even. But just thinking about making enemies out of all of them sends shivers down my spine, Rara. Oh shit. Oh, they're stupid. How do they not know that the door is alive? The door is hearing them right now. Oh, that's gonna fuck everything up. That's gonna... Ah, okay. Oh boy. Okay, it's getting right into it. They're placing the, the picture there for Big Mom. Mama. It's Mother Caramel. Indeed, our mother. Ah, I'm so glad to see Mother smiling so brightly today. I still don't even know who she is, but... <laughs> yes, Mother is the light of this world. This is my first time at one of your tea parties, so I was just wondering. How exactly is this person related to you, Big Mom? Do not presume to trespass upon my memories. What? Okay. Now, now, leave all that alone. Look, we've brought you presents, Charlotte. And some for your daughter in honor of her wedding today. Ooh, treasure chest, my favorite. What is hiding inside, I wonder? I brought some too, Linlin. Please, accept mine as well. Mine are rare gifts from the south. I should have shipped my own as well from the furthest reaches of the north. I'm positively elated. Thank you, thank you. Nice, a pile of treasure chests. Thank you for all of this. Thank you indeed. I'm so happy. That is cool. Speaking of treasure chests, I heard you recently obtained the great treasure of the sea floor recently. Yes. <laughs> ha. <laughs> Oh, news does reach your ears quite quickly, Morgans. Indeed, I did. The treasure chest passed down in the royal lineage of the Deep, from generation to generation. And for some reason I cannot fathom, Neptune has willingly parted with it, and now it rests here with me. This is the treasure chest of legends itself, the Tamete Bako. Oh, what gravitas, what presence. I wonder what in the world is inside. Along with all the other presents I have received, I will open this. <laughs> During the grand banquet after pudding ceremony, you will all get to see what is inside. I can't wait. <laughs> F 
Father! Oh, done already? The preliminary preparations went off without a hitch. That door hears everything. What's the state of affairs downstairs? The cooks are currently partying at the banquet being held to commemorate the end of the culinary preparations. We sealed off all the corridors on our way up here. If we lock this door up tight, no one should be able to make it up here for the time being. We've also placed a horned Den Den Mushi to block radio transmission. The wedding hall is completely isolated. Good. Well done. Go change. Roger. Caesar, get the mirror out. Knock, knock. Damn it, you oaf stopped calling me that. <laughs> so this is going to be your entrance to the tea party. Well, try to enjoy yourself, scum of the earth. Shut on off. Oh, man, that door in the background. You're pretty scummy yourself, you know. Anyway, go hide the mirror somewhere over there, quickly. Your job is to grab that mirror and fly it into the hall, as soon as you hear Big Mom cry out in her strange voice. That thing is our one and only exit out of here. Try not to get any wild ideas. I'm not going to betray you now of all times. Caesar Cloud. Oh no. Behi and the others are definitely planning something. Oh shit. Did they notice? No, they didn't. Oh! Wow! Wow! Cut the door's face off! The willows are down a notch or two. Loose lips sink ships. Damn! We've got about 30 minutes to go before the ceremony starts. Are the straw hats ready to go? Look, for, Take a look for yourself. <clears throat> They're inside your own body, after all, aren't they? Oh, idiots! What the hell are you doing sleeping? What about the preparations? Let them rest. They've barely had the chance to sit down since they got here. I'll wake them ten minutes before it all begins. Something's wrong with you lot. If you end up being a burden, I'll cut you all loose then and there. Stop worrying. I will take care of the preparations and will also keep watch. Those bastards, I'm actually shocked. Right, get back in there. I'll walk into the hall myself. Get ready, you lop. After I step foot inside there, there's no going back. Come on. <laughs> Ninth floor, bride and groom's room. I, I had no intention of marrying when I arrived here, but the fact that I'm sitting here next to you is so strange. I almost feel as if I'm in a dream. Oh, that's Sanji talking, trying to play it off. Was that dream a good one or a bad one? So, so cute. <laughs> uh, of course a good one. Really, I'm glad. Keep it together, Sanji. She's just acting. She's actually trying to kill me. <laughs> Wait, maybe, maybe I really was just dreaming all the other stuff. No, 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 don't fall for it. Trust in your own memories. Sanji, what's wrong? N nothing. I. Oh, yeah. Our big kiss. Uh, if you're, well, if you don't want to in front of everyone at all, I'll be okay with kissing you on your forehead or something, or somewhere else, you know, I mean. <laughs> kiss me on the mouth, silly. We're going to be a husband and wife, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Zondi, the hell is with this pervert? I want to kill him right now. <laughs> 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 oh man here's the, everyone at the party how many pages left damn it one more page probably not even alright everyone's partying the banquet hall big mom's crew wow that is that is a nice spread There's a lot going on in this picture I see Behi there. He's in the hall. They're blowing the trumpets. Now then, friends and guests, our main event. Oh, nice spread. The 35th daughter of the Charlotte family, Charlotte Pudding, and the third son of the Vinsmoke family, Vinsmoke Sanji. Let their royal wedding begin. 
the pirate crew of the Yonko Big Mom, and the armies of evil of the Germa 66. This young couple will connect the dreams of these two dastardly families together. A marriage de raison, as these two are united as one, once again will the flowers of villainy bloom wildly across the land. Applaud, applause the dizzying beauty of this day. Applaud, oh no. Asanji's applaud that Vassery's getting way into acting his role. The blood drenched wedding begins now. Damn it! <laughs> Next issue, we will be on hiatus. Of course, a fucking course. Damn it, Oda. You know what? I guess as long as he doesn't pull a Dres Rosa with all these breaks, because all the breaks in Dres Rosa, especially in the middle of the Luffy and Doflamingo fight, it killed that arc. For me, it killed that arc. You can't just keep on building up hype, building up hype, dropping people off, building up, dropping people off. No. Hopefully, this is the last hiatus before we go straight through to the end of Whole Cake Island. But anyway, guys, that was chapter 861. And uh, hopefully you guys see this video soon. I'll have it up. And this is before 12. We put out.